Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the bash bank command. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so let's get connected to our Linux box. Here we go. Now I will show you a couple of bash bank command. Okay. So the first one, let's say for example that we want to install software. So here I'm in my Ubuntu box, so in order to install software, I can use apt install. For example, a package, let's uh, for example type htop. Okay, so if I hit enter, I will get nothing because I'm not root. So I have to use the sudo command. Okay, so instead of typing the whole sentence i can use what we call a bash bank command so i will just type sudo then double exclamation mark okay so the double exclamation mark stands for the last command so if i hit now enter as you can see now i get access so i can install my software so remember just to use the double exclamation mark whenever you want to actually call the last command okay so let me clear that another useful bash bank is the dollar underscore so for example let's create a directory here so I will use the command make directory okay so let's call it for example example okay here we go so let's see that we want to change our directory, our current directory to this new created directory. So instead of typing cd example, I can just type cd dollar underscore. And it will automatically actually goes to this directory. So you have to remember also that the dollar underscore stands for the last argument of the last command okay so if i hit enter here we go as you can see i'm now in the example directory so remember dollar underscore stands for the last argument of the last command okay so let's me move on okay another useful bash bank command is actually dollar interrogation mark so actually the dollar interrogation mark stand for the status of the last exit so for example if i type true we know that the exit status is zero for true so if i type for example echo dollar interrogation mark i get zero so this is the exit status of the last command so for false it's one so let's verify that here we go it's one so it's also you have to remember this bash bank another trick that we can do also is for example let's uh, list file that I have in my test directory here called hello so I will do that list minus L for long view yes I have mistyped the hello okay so as you can see it's a file located in this directory so let's say that we want to cat or just see the content of this file so instead of typing cat and the whole path to this file i can just type cat exclamation mark and dollar so the exclamation mark and dollar stands for the last word of the last command so you have also to remember that trick here we go now you can see it has actually returned the last word of the last command and I get the content of my file which is hello world okay and last but not least 
another bash bank is actually exclamation mark then if you follow it by a word let's see for example apt or apt it will actually recall the last command that began with that word so we know that we have actually executed app install htop so it will recall the last command that begins with the word apt so if i hit enter you can see it has actually give us the last command that begins with apt word so these are all the tricks that you can have in your mind whenever you are typing in the command line and sometimes it makes life more and more easier for you to interact with the command line in a bash linux shell as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye